Thank you. Um, so I seek uh, leave to, to move the first stage of the Irish nationality and citizenship restoration of birthright citizenship bill 2017. This bill would reverse the changes to Irish citizenship law that were implemented from 2005 following the referendum in 2004. This bill will give the entitlement to Irish citizenship to everyone born on the island of Ireland regardless of their parents' status. Now all over Europe there's been an erosion of the rights of immigrants. We see one example this week with the government's proposed changes to uh, social protection payments to children. And over the past decades, there's been a move away from giving people automatic citizenship based on their place of birth. Now the right to citizenship is generally conditional on who your parents are and what their status in the state was at the time of your birth. Citizenship law has increasingly become about your bloodline and not where you're born and live. And this bill goes against that trend. In the USA at the moment, the Taoiseach obviously will be visiting the United States next week. I don't want him to go, but he, he's going apparently to meet President Trump. The United States is one of the few countries remaining that grants citizenship to people born on, in the US regardless of their parents' status. And in the course of the recent presidential debate, Donald Trump spoke about altering that. Many of the laws that Trump is advancing here have already been implemented in Europe and it's slightly hypocritical of Irish politicians who would oppose Trump altering US citizenship law due to the impact it would have on Irish, on Irish people, undocumented, but then stand over the same law that we have here. Uh, now why should we reverse this? Because the 2004 referendum on citizenship, it's very clear now, was based on a number of myths, some of them xenophobic myths. Uh, the, the government of the time, the Fianna Fáil PD government, were facing into an unpopular ele local election. The Minister for Justice at the time, in my opinion, played the race cards. We had a referendum on the same day as the local elections that tried to shift the blame for inadequacies, particularly in maternity care and health care, onto immigrants. There was the myth of birth tourism, there was even the myth of so-called anchor babies, people travelling to the country, having a baby, going away again. And it was pushed by some establishment politicians. And disgustingly, the same parties representing the powerful and wealthy during the Celtic Tiger scapegoated the most vulnerable asylum seekers in that referendum campaign. At the time, I was a candidate for the first time in the local election in Mulhudder on the same day. And I distinctly remember the message being advanced. And I was standing in the most diverse, multicultural part of the state. I'm proud to say the Socialist Party at the time stood firmly against it in that referendum and outlined immigrants aren't to blame for problems in health care and housing and that it's the, the politicians and the, the capitalists and business class in the country who are. Now, removing a person's status doesn't help anyone other than the government and employers who are better than situated to exploit that person. So those with precarious immigration status are more likely to be facing precarious work, low pay, poor housing. From the 1st of January 2023, we will have adults who know nowhere other than Ireland as their home, not being considered Irish citizens. There will be adults who are born, brought up and educated in this country who do not have a right to vote in referendum, referendums and all elections. Will these people have problems in the future? with renewal of visas? Will they have a status? Are they likely to become our problematic, undocumented, concerned about the policies of each incoming government every few years? And at the moment, a person here must have one, pers one parent who's lived in the state for the past three or four years, time spent here as a student, undocumented or applying for refugee status aren't included. Between 2005 and 2016, there have been 6,419 naturalisations of Irish-born children. Those people would not have had to apply for naturalisation if the law hadn't been changed following that referendum. They had to go through a naturalisation process. Now, naturalisation costs quite a lot of money for families. It's €1,125 Euro for adults and 375 for children. And I meet a lot of families who have to raise that money 
and it, it's a problematic and, a, 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 and although it's speeded up, it's still a bureaucratic process. I think we should send out a message against division, against erosion of the rights of immigrants, and I, for that reason, seek leave to move this bill.